Hey Stampers, it's Judy Clock here at Stampin' with Crafty Clock coming to you today for a quick little live at lunch featuring the adorable Penguin Place um, bundle again. I just really love this bundle. It will be available to the public on August 3rd and I can't stop playing with it. And I am going to be featuring this bundle, the stamp set and the punch um, for my August class. So I'm gonna preview one of the designs that we're gonna make. So the other day I got a text from a customer and she asked me if I could sort of um, figure out how this fancy fold card was made that she wanted me to do. So I figured it out and it was kind of fun. And it kind of gave me an idea for the penguin bundle. So I liked this little guy. He looks like he's gonna be sliding down the hill. So I thought, how can I do that and make it into a fancy fold? Well. I put my little hill there and I scored it at four and a quarter and two and one eighth. And there you have it. He pops up. He kind of stands up above the fold. And uh, it's a cute little quick birthday card. So we're going to go ahead and make this one today. All right. Hey, Susan, how you doing today? So let's go ahead and get started. We have here our card base. It is our new fresh freesia. It is eight and a half by five and a half. I scored it at two and one eighth and four and a quarter. And that's going to give us that little easel fold that we need. To this, we're gonna do the inside. Let's go ahead and stamp on our inside. And I decided to make this a birthday card um, because I know that we can always use birthday cards. And this is one I think, maybe if we did it in misty moonlight instead of the purple, you could use this one for the guys on your list too, but I did the fresh freesia for today. So I'm going to use my Stampin' Pierce mat because I do have, um, these are photopolymer stamps. So I just, I really went a little crazy on the inside, totally crazy. And I took the little snowflake stamp and I just kind of stamped it across the top. I was just trying to pick up because if you look at our DSP, it's got the snowflakes there. So thanks for sharing, Susan, I appreciate that. Okay, so we've got our little snowflakes across the top, and then I wanted to add some presents along the bottom because it's a birthday card, so why not? So I think I just did like three in the fresh freesia, and I was, these were not stamping so clear for me the other day. Let's go see if we can get the three. Okay, and then I did two in our Misty Moonlight. Okay. Oh, that's stamping much better now. Okay, and then I put in a quick little happy birthday on the inside, which I seem to have lost. Here it is. Happy birthday. Okay. So we're going to go ahead. Now we're ready to put that in. And like I say, I always like to stamp my inside before I put it down, because if I made a mistake, I could just go ahead and flip it over. So that's just my little tip for the day. Now make sure you put it on the side that doesn't have the two score lines or that other score line. Okay, so now we've got that. Now we need to make our little penguin, because we need to have him as like the stopper for our easel. So to make our penguin, there's two parts. And I got a lot of questions. This is the black penguin body, and this is that white insert. And of course, that's the little feet. So let me get my basic black, okay? So we're gonna take our basic black and we're going to punch out our penguin body. Okay. Then I'm going to take some uh, basic white, and I'm just going to punch out that other little part. And then I've got some Mango Melody here for two little penguin feet. Okay. So now we have all the parts for our little penguin. Let's go ahead and give him some eyes. You'll notice in your... Um, in your stamp set, there's these two little dots. Those are the little eyes for this white piece. Uh, it's gonna go on the inside of our penguin or like the penguin body. I'm just gonna stamp those up there. And then I'm gonna take a little bit of our Mango Melody and I'm gonna give him 
a little beak. Now there's two little beaks, one that looks like more of a triangle and one that's a little bit more pointy. That's for the penguin that's sliding down and this is for the penguin who's sitting up. So I'm just gonna go ahead and put that there. All right, just close up some of these. Now I'm going to use a couple of glue dots to put those feet on the white body part. Okay, one. And he's gonna look so cute sitting in your little card. I just love these little guys, they're just so cute. Okay, and now we're going to go and attach the white piece to the black. All right. And there you have it. And there's your little penguin, isn't he cute? He's so easy to make. Now I'm gonna put him right here. I'm gonna pop him up with some dimensionals. I'm just gonna use my mini dimensionals here. And I guess if you have the black dimensionals and you wanted to use them, that would be fine. Um, they would work too. And this way you might not see them. They would just sort of blend in with the penguin body. All right. So now we've got our little penguin. Okay. Now I'm going to flip it so that this, the top part, is on the solid surface. I'm not going to fold it over yet. So I want to go and I'm going to add our designer paper. This is five and a quarter by four, and this is the free one you can get with um, our celebration with a purchase of $50 or more, and that will be starting on August 3rd, and it coordinates so well with our little penguin place bundle. All right. Let's go ahead and put this here, and then I'm going to go ahead and fold this to create that little hill. And I'm just gonna use my paper bone to just really give me a nice crisp crease. All right. Now I'm gonna go ahead and I'm going to stamp my big hill for my sledding or my sliding penguin. And this is great because it fits so great there. And so I wanna kinda get the top of the hill towards that score line because I want my penguin to just be at the top of that. Okay, so the stamping on this is really kind of basic. I'm gonna add a little bit of embellishment, a couple of rhinestones there in the snowflakes to make them pop. And then we're going to stamp our little sliding penguin. And we have to fussy cut him. And if anybody knows me, they know that I absolutely hate to fussy cut, but because he's so dang cute, I decided to fussy cut him. So we're gonna stamp him, and then we're going to stamp his other little beak. Remember I said it was the one that was more pointy that we're going to put right on him, just anywhere. Now he's got a little beak. And then we would take our paper, paper snips and we would go ahead and cut him out. To save time on the video, I've actually already fussy cut one so we're good and he didn't stamp so well so I kind of took some marker and filled him in a little bit now I'm just going to put a couple of um, dimensionals on him there we go and again I'm using the minis because I don't want to have it too much and two should do it okay now I'm going to place him and remember, there, you just want to put the dimensionals right on the bottom of him because you don't want this part to stick to your card. You just want the bottom because when we open that, when we go to fold that card, the rest of his body is going to stick up like that. So then I added a little, a little tag with to the coolest friend ever. We're just going to. Stamp that. I'm going to snip that with my... And this is just a little scrap of paper that I kept, and they come in handy when you want to add just a little bit. I'm just going to put a couple of our mini dimensionals on here so we can pop that up. Okay. I hope everybody's having a good week. It's been so far. Tuesday is turning out to be all right. So we got to the coolest friend ever. And then I just took a few rhinestones, like, I don't know, anywhere, three, four, five 
wherever you want. And I just added them to the centers on a couple of these snowflakes. And of course that's not going to work. So I just wanted to add just a teeny, teeny bit of sparkle to him. This is just not gonna be my thing today. Okay. I don't know why these are giving me such a hard time today, but they are. Okay. All right. And maybe just, maybe just a couple more. I like to do things in odd numbers. I don't know why. I just do. Maybe because I'm odd. Come on, go right there. There we go. And I don't know, one more. Where should we put one more? Maybe one more right there. And there you have it. There is our little easel penguin card with your little penguin just sliding down that snow mountain. That's it for this edition of Live at Lunch. Thanks so much for watching. I hope you all have a great week. I'll see you Thursday night on my VIP group for, my, for another live demo. Bye, everybody.